Well, hello, hello, hello. Today I'm actually coming to you from my office at work. Um, it's uh, quite the mess, uh, so I think eventually at some point um, I will tidy things up. I'm actually self-employed, um, and I think eventually I was, I've had a couple people ask me uh, some of the comments, uh, you know, what I do and things of that such, and more of a personal matter. So uh, eventually I think I'll make a video, I guess, regarding uh, uh, what I do. But today I'm actually just wanted to talk about, I've had a couple questions, uh, some, some private messages that were sent through Instagram from people that are looking to buy a Tesla. And uh, one of the questions that comes up, it's come up several times, is the subject of insurance. So today I'm just going to talk a little bit about insuring my Tesla. All right, so talking about insurance, I just want you to remember that it's going to depend a lot on your age, your driving records, like if you have any tickets on there. Um, I think even your credit uh, determines, I think uh, some of the rates are dependent on credit also. Uh, so there's a lot of factors that go into it. Now, if you're coming from a, let's say, a, a Toyota Corolla, a Honda Accord, um, you know, a Chevy Cruze or something like that, and you move up to a Tesla, uh, obviously, your insurance is going to be significantly higher because um, you're going from a car that, uh, you know, Corolla can cost you, I guess, 20000 to 30000 new, I'm guessing, probably around $20,000 range, um, to a car that uh, when it's new, it's going to cost you uh, 150000 uh, depending on, you know, the one that I bought, uh, it was around there uh, with all the options. So you have to keep that in mind that you can't compare apples and oranges. You can't say, okay, I'm driving a Honda Accord right now. I'm going to go, I'm going to, go to a, uh, like a Tesla or a Mercedes or, you know, whatever luxury car um, that you want to get and expect the insurance rates to be similar. You know, a lot of it's because the cost of replacing parts or fixing one of these cars, if they get into an accident, is going to be much more significant in a Mercedes or Tesla or, uh, you know, any of these high-end cars than a um, than in a Toyota Corolla or, or a Chevy. So I want you to keep that in mind and um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got for my in uh, for my insurance you know my insurance um, company. I got a letter I guess stating the change and I'm gonna explain to you I guess the difference. All right so this is a letter that I received from my insurance company. I'm using the company called Safeco Insurance. Um, they seem to be to have pretty reasonable rates. Um, and I've shopped around, but it's, I have an insurance agent. So the black tape is just my personal information, my agent's phone number. I don't want his um, his information out there. Um, so just for privacy, I just covered up some of the um, information on here. Um, but the first thing I want you to, um, to understand is that I'm replacing a 2008 Cadillac Escalade. Um, that Cadillac Escalade, and I'm replacing it with a 2016 model, you know, Model X Tesla. Now you have to understand that I'm going from a $15,000 car, I guess the value of the car, to a over $70,000 car as far as the value of it. And also, I'm going from a car that probably costs around $70,000 when I bought it new, the Cadillac Escalade, to a car that costs $150,000 if I had bought it new. Uh, so right there, there's a big difference, you know, so you have to expect that your insurance is going to be higher. And I, I already expected that. So like I said, if you're going from a Toyota Corolla, um, you can't expect it to be a similar insurance rate as insuring a Mercedes or, or, or Jaguar or BMW. Uh, so that being said, um, I expected the insurance rate to go up. And this is the additional premium that I'm going to have to pay now um, per year for that change from going from the Tesla, from the Cadillac to the Tesla. Uh, so it's $906. If you break it up per month, it's about $75 uh, a month. Honestly, it's um, it's not, I mean, obviously $75 is a good amount of money, but it's not anything significant. You know, honestly, I expected it to be a little bit more. Um, so that way you can have an idea, uh, but it's, it's hard to compare. It's apples and oranges because you're going from something that um, is a domestic car, you know, it's, a, it's an American car. Well, this is the, <laughs> the Tesla's a domestic car too. Uh, but price-wise, you know, this shares parts with, the Yukon, the Tahoe, you know, um, there's a lot of parts that are shared between the cars, so it's easier to find parts. Parts are cheaper than trying to find parts for a Tesla. Um, that being said, you know, 
it is a significant amount to pay in, in over a year. But this policy is actually for me and my wife. So it covers the both of us. Uh, so uh, it's something that um, I don't think, I think it's on par. I don't think it's a significant. So this wouldn't be, you know, for me, it wouldn't deter me from buying the Tesla. And like I said, if you're going for, from a luxury car to another luxury car, you're not going to notice much of a difference. You know, you're already going to be paying a higher premium because it's a, it's a more expensive car to have to replace if you ever get into a, an accident where, where the car is totaled. Um, so that's something that you definitely, you know, um, I definitely was expecting. So that, like I said, the $906 works out to about $75 a month. Uh, to me, it's not a significant increase. Um, if I had bought, you know, like I said, a Mercedes, it, I probably would have seen the same amount. Um, so that wouldn't determine, um, you know, what I pay. But just so you can see, this is my policy. Uh, so this is actually the Tesla. Uh, this is what I pay per year on my Tesla. Uh, and remember, this is a 2016. This is what I pay per year on a Porsche 911. Uh, so, you know, the amount is really not that significant. I mean, between, I mean, this is a car that is uh, six years older, you know, and actually the Tesla uh, MSRP wise, you know, this is a $150,000 car. This is a $120,000 car. You know, so the Tesla already is a more expensive car to begin with. So I'd expect this rate to be a lot higher than this one. So to me, obviously, you're talking about a significant amount of money. Um, but honestly, in, in, in compared to what I was paying before, it's only a $75 difference. You know, it's not much of a difference from what I was already paying. Remember, this policy is for two drivers. It's for my wife and I. Um, and I'm trying to see if you have a deductible, what the deductible is on this. Uh, my deductible is $250. So, and that's for property damage. If, if something happens to a comprehensive, it's $500. So that way you can tell what my deductible is. Now, if I, if I raise the deductible, you know, then all of these would go down and I would pay less. But if I ever have an, an accident or anything and it's my fault, or you know, um, then I would have to pay a much higher deductible. So, anyways, um, so anyways, uh, you know, I just wanted to do a quick video because I know I've had a couple questions regarding insurance. Um, you can kind of see what I pay for insurance, and like I said, everything varies depending on your age, um, your credit rating. Um, obviously, the biggest thing is what kind of car you're going from. You know, you can't expect to pay the same insurance rate if you're going from a $20,000 car to a seventy dollars or $80,000 car. So just keep that in mind. Um, obviously, your insurance agent should be able to give you a ballpark figure of what your insurance is gonna go up. It's gonna go up regardless, unless you're driving a brand new car and you're trading in for an older Tesla, because if you're buying something that's newer, normally that car is gonna cost more to insure regardless. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but to me, $75 a month, is um it's, it is significant you know i'm not a rich person but um it's something that um i'm saving way more than that on gasoline you know so for me there's a lot of things that i that i take into account where yeah my insurance went up um but regardless i needed to get a new car uh my insurance is going to go up regardless but now i'm saving a lot of money on gasoline so anyways that's my video on insurance if you have any more questions regarding insurance um or anything else regarding the Tesla, uh, just go ahead and uh, leave me a comment and I'm pretty good uh, about getting back with the comments. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please just go ahead and subscribe, you know, hit the notification bell and, um, you know, share the video and like and comment. Um, I really appreciate it. You all take care.